Today I'm answering the question, can you set an electronic drum set for a lefty style of play? That's coming up. What's up, Justin here, welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things electronic drum related, so thanks for stopping by. This is a question I've been getting continually, so I decided to make a dedicated video on it. Can you set up your electronic drums to be a lefty style of play? And the answer is absolutely yes. I know people are worried about this because they don't want to spend two grand on something just to find out they got to ship it back to the factory. Yes, you can turn nearly any electronic drum set into a lefty style setup because electronic drums usually come on drum racks like this one right here. And it's just like an acoustic drum rack, except maybe a little bit thinner because you know it doesn't have to handle the weight of an acoustic drum, just drum pads. If you don't like the placement of something, you literally just loosen it and you can move it from one side of the drum rack to the other side of the drum rack. And of course, the, the drum pad sits on this right here. With cymbals, it gets slightly more complicated because not all drum racks are the same. For example, on this drum rack, the cymbal arm actually goes into one of the poles. So you're, you're a little bit more limited on where you can put this unless you buy a special clamp you know, so you can put it wherever you want. With this, you're kind of locked down on where the cymbals are going to be. But with something like on a Roland TD-11, you can put those cymbal arms wherever you want because they're just clamps and you can slide them up and down around the drum rack. I keep getting this question about specific drum sets, so let's take a look at a couple of case studies so you can see how easy it is to move stuff around. Let's take a look at the Roland TD-11 KV. On this drum set, if you wanted to turn it into a lefty style setup, the first thing you would do is remove that floor tom, take the snare and the snare drum arm right there, and move it over to the right side of the drum rack. The next thing you do is remove the hi-hat from the pipe and put it over on the right side of the drum rack. And you'd probably also want to move the drum module over to where the floor tom is right now. That way the wires are still mapped you know, to the correct distance. Here's the thing about cable snakes I hate. Even though they're ultra convenient because you just have one connection to the back of the drum module and then you have all eight cables you know, that plug into the toms and the, and the crash symbols and they're all measured to go exactly a correct amount of distance so that there's no cable lying around. I love that, but I also hate the fact that it's incredibly limited. If you don't want to play the standard setup, then you know that cable might be short. So if you have a crazy setup you're going for, you might have to go buy one of these guys. So this is a cable that has you know quarter inch male on one end and then a female end on the other end. If you want to pick one of those up, I'll link one down in the description below. Now don't worry, I'm not trying to make you think that you have to spend money to get a lefty setup working, but if worse comes to worse and you can't move your drum module for some weird reason, a couple of cable extenders will do the job if some pads get out of reach of that cable snake. But most of the time, you won't have to buy anything to get a lefty setup working with your electronic drums. Let's take a look at the Roland TD-1K. This one's even easier to get working because of how simplistic it is. So right here, all you gotta do is slide that hi-hat off to the left and throw it over where the floor tom is, so you're basically swapping out those two pads. And then with the snare, I believe you can just loosen that clamp right there and literally just rotate it around 360 so that the snare is on the other side. And uh, make sure that the ride cord goes to the left symbol instead of the right symbol and you're already good to go. And let's take a look at the Roland TD4 KP because I recently was asked about this drum set as well. You know exactly what I'm gonna say. You're gonna have to move that hi-hat and the arm that's holding it over to the right side of the drum rack. You'll have to rotate that snare so it's pointing towards the right and swap out that floor tom and that rack arm and just move that over to the left. So the key takeaway here is that electronic drums are completely modular. They're like Legos. You can take things apart, you can add things, you can upgrade things, you can change everything, you can do whatever you want. And uh, some electronic drums come with just stands, not even drum racks. So really, whatever you dream up is possible. If you wanna see more videos like this, I've got nearly 250 videos on this channel. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon so you're notified when new videos come out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you in a few.